There are more than a million described species of insects and many more that have yet to be discovered. They are found in nearly every ecosystem on the planet and play important roles in the food chain. Insects are fascinating creatures and have been the subject of much scientific study. These are the top six insects that nearly went extinct. 6. Carner Blue Butterfly The Carner Blue Butterfly is a small, delicate creature with blue wings and black spots. These beautiful insects are found in North America, particularly in the Midwest and Great Lakes region. They are named after the German entomologist, Otto Karner, who first described them in the early 1800s. These butterflies typically live in open areas with full sun and plenty of wildflowers. They rely on these flowers for nectar and also lay their eggs on the leaves of certain plants. The larvae of the Karner blue butterfly feed on the leaves of these plants, which are typically in the pea family. The Karner blue butterfly has been in decline for many years due to habitat loss and fragmentation. As development and agriculture have increased, the open areas that these butterflies need have become more and more scarce. In addition, the use of pesticides has also had an impact, as it has killed off many of the wildflowers that the Karner blue butterfly needs for food. There have been some efforts to help the Karner blue butterfly rebound. In some areas, land has been set aside specifically for them, and efforts are made to plant the right kind of wildflowers. In addition, people are being encouraged not to use pesticides in areas where the Karner blue butterfly is found. It is important to protect the Karner blue butterfly, not just for its beauty, but also because it is an important part of the ecosystem. These delicate creatures play a role in pollination and help to keep the population of their host plants in check. By working to protect their habitat and reduce the use of pesticides, we can help ensure that the Karner blue butterfly will be around for years to come. 5. Mitchell's Satter Butterfly The Mitchell's Satter Butterfly is a species of nymphalid butterfly found in North America. It is named after James E. Mitchell, an entomologist from Michigan State University. The butterfly is black with orange spots on its wings, and it has a wingspan of about 2.5 inches. The larvae of the Mitchell's Satter Butterfly feed on plants in the genus Trifolium, and the adults feed on nectar from a variety of flowers. The Mitchell's Satter Butterfly is found in woods and fields, and it is most active during the day. 4. McCoon's Rocky Mountain Grasshopper McCoon's Rocky Mountain Grasshoppers are some of the most interesting insects in the world. They are unique in their appearance and their habits. These grasshoppers are named after their discoverer, John McCoon, who found them in the Rocky Mountains of North America. They are usually a brown or tan color, but can also be green or black. They have long antennae and legs, and their bodies are covered in spines. McCoon's Rocky Mountain Grasshoppers are known for their jumping abilities. They can jump up to 20 times their own body length. They use their powerful legs to launch themselves into the air and then glide down to their next destination. These grasshoppers are also known for their eating habits. They are voracious eaters and will consume just about anything they can get their mouths on. This includes other insects, plants, and even small animals. If you ever have the chance to see a McCoon's Rocky Mountain Grasshopper, you will be sure to be amazed by these fascinating creatures. 3. Hawaiian Cicada The Hawaiian Cicada is a small, black and white insect that is found on the Hawaiian Islands. They are known for their loud, shrill mating call which can be heard for miles. Cicadas are not harmful to humans and are actually quite interesting creatures. The Hawaiian cicada is about 2 centimeters in length and has a black body with white stripes running down its back. Its wings are clear and have black spots on them. Cicadas are unique insects in that they have no mouthparts for eating. Instead, they have a long, thin proboscis that they use to pierce the bark of trees and suck out the sap. Cicadas are found on all of the Hawaiian islands, but are most common on the island of Kauai. They are most active during the day and are often seen perched on tree branches or leaves. During the breeding season, male cicadas will sing their loud mating call in order to attract females. The mating call of the Hawaiian cicada is one of the loudest of all insects and can reach up to 100 decibels. The sound is produced by vibrating membranes on the abdomen. After mating, the female cicada will lay her eggs on the bark of trees. The eggs will hatch after about six weeks and the young cicadas will drop to the ground and burrow into the soil. They will remain in the ground for several years, molting several times, before emerging as adults. Hawaiian cicadas are interesting insects that play an important role in the ecosystem. They are a food source for many animals, including birds, lizards, and rodents. They also help to aerate the soil and control the population of other insects. 2. American Burying Beetle When most people think of American burying beetles, they think of the large, black, and orange insects that are often seen flying around during the summertime. 
However, these beetles are actually quite small, and they are not the only kind of beetle that is found in the United States. There are many different species of American burying beetle, and each one is unique in its own way. The American burying beetle is a member of the family Sylphidae, which contains over 4,000 different species of beetle. These beetles are found all over the world, but they are most commonly found in the United States. American burying beetles are most often found in the eastern half of the country, but they can also be found in the western states as well. The American burying beetle gets its name from its habit of burying small animals that have died. These beetles will dig a small hole in the ground and then cover the dead animal with dirt. The American burying beetle will then feed on the carcass of the animal. The American burying beetle is an important part of the ecosystem. These beetles help to clean up the environment by eating dead animals. If the American burying beetle did not exist, there would be many more dead animals decomposing on the ground. The American burying beetle is a fascinating insect. These beetles are important to the environment and are interesting to learn about. 1. Monarch Butterfly Monarch butterflies are one of the most beautiful and iconic insects in North America. Though their populations have declined in recent years, they are still an important part of the ecosystem. Monarch butterflies are easily recognized by their striking orange and black wings. They are one of the largest butterflies in North America, with a wingspan of up to 4 inches. Monarch butterflies are found in every state in the continental United States, as well as in parts of Canada and Mexico. The monarch butterfly is in trouble. In the last two decades, their population has declined by 90%. There are many reasons for this decline, including loss of habitat, use of pesticides, and climate change. Loss of habitat is the biggest threat to the monarch butterfly. As development increases, natural areas are lost. Monarchs need a specific type of habitat to survive. They need a place to lay their eggs, and milkweed to feed their caterpillars. Milkweed is a plant that monarch caterpillars eat, and it is becoming increasingly rare. Without milkweed, monarch caterpillars cannot survive. Pesticides are also a threat to monarch butterflies. Pesticides are chemicals that are used to kill insects. Unfortunately, they don't just kill the bad insects, they also kill the good ones. When monarch butterflies come into contact with pesticides, it can kill them. Climate change is another threat to monarch butterflies. As the Earth's climate changes, it becomes harder for monarch butterflies to find the specific conditions they need to survive. For example, monarch butterflies need a specific temperature to trigger their migration. If the temperature is too warm or too cold, they may not migrate. This can have a big impact on the monarch population. Despite these threats, there is still hope for the monarch butterfly. There are many things that can be done to help them. One way is to plant milkweed in your garden. This will provide. We hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this.